Hey, it's the preacher, and today we're going to do stuffed deer steak. And this is something I've experimented with. I, I messed with it a couple years ago, and then I kind of just gave up on it. Didn't really, wasn't nothing special. And then I decided, no, I, I'm going to try that again. So I tried it again here a few weeks ago, and it turned out really good. And I think I've taken the mistakes from the first three or four times of of doing this, and I think I've discovered something that's. I think you'll enjoy it. So what you're gonna need is some deer steak. So I'm not talking about like a, a steak with a, a bone in the middle or cut, you know, something thinly sliced. I'm talking about something, a muscle group that you would slice for steaks. And the long rectangular or round steak like this is what you want because what we're going to do is make cuts in this. So we're gonna go a third of the way up from the bottom if you're looking at the the round part of the steak. We're going to work on this third and we're going to do what I've done with these two pieces of meat here. So we're going to start on that bottom and fillet it right down the middle lengthwise to where it opens up. So then we'll have a third of the meat here and then it's, two, it's twice as thick on this side. We'll cut through that. Now we've opened up our deer steak. So now we have this big flat piece of meat that we can stuff and then roll it right back up. I did the same thing to this piece. So if you look at it like this, uh, and I'll bring you in closer and give you an above shot here in a minute, but if, if you were to take the meat and slice it long ways, cut almost all the way through, but not quite, then you would butterfly it over, but leave two thirds of it on one side. Then that thick side, butterfly it and you end up with a big old flat piece of meat. Now, if you just wanted to make a big steak like, to, like for fajitas, you could take a hammer and flatten this out and lay it just like this on a grill. Season it in taco seasoning, lay that on the grill and you would have just like a flat iron steak. And that would be very good. But what we wanna do with it, now that we've got it all opened up, is we wanna stuff it, roll it back up, tie it, cook it in the oven uh, for a couple hours so that it gets tender. Here's the problem with deer steak. It's lean. There's virtually no fat in this. It's just, it's just protein. And so when you cook deer steak, you usually want to cook it rare to medium rare because if you overcook it, it'll dry out and get tough. But we all know that if you cook meat over a longer period of time, it will also get tender. The problem with deer steak is there's no fat, there's no moisture, it dries out. So we're going to solve that problem by adding some fat and moisture into the steak, rolling it up, tying it. That extra moisture and extra fat will allow us to slowly cook this deer until it gets very tender. And it'll not only be tender, but it'll be very flavorful. So let me bring you around here and I'll show you how we're going to stuff it. Okay, here's what we're going to stuff our deer steak with. I have some onions. I have some sweet peppers. You could use hot peppers if you wanted to. I have some cheese. You could use any cheese you want, grated or sliced. This is Munster. And then you're gonna need a fatty meat. You could use any lunch meat. You could use bacon. I would recommend you cook the bacon first, but this is ham. This is just deli sliced ham that I've cut in strips so that it fits into the deer steak better. Now, I recommend that you put some kind of spreadable fat in here. You could put butter, you could put cream cheese, but if you're gonna put something in there, why not go for some flavor? Here I have some French onion dip, and this will give us a great flavor, as well as that fat that we need from the sour cream and uh, the dairy that's inside that. So there's our deer steak. As you can see, it's cut into thirds lengthwise, and then we just would roll up like this, so we would take it and just roll it out and then roll that out. All right, I got a little hole there. You see where I cut through? It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We're just going to thin it out. I fill a thick spot. Anywhere it feels real thick, you can just make a slight cut and it gives it a little relief. All right, let's spread some uh, French onion dip on that. That's about a tablespoon. And I think I'll do a little bit more. That's probably a tablespoon and a half. Now, I'm just going to use my hands and work it all in. We're going to spread it all around. I'm working on the inside of the deer meat.
That'll do a couple of things for us. It'll help us stick everything where we put it. So probably netted a tablespoon time I washed this off my hands. So let's add some ham. Remember this is in thirds, so we're just kind of thinking in thirds. We want a third that rolls over and then that rolls over. I'm going to add some cheese. Now some peppers. Now some onions. We've got onion flavor with the onion uh, dip, the French onion dip, but you still want some of those onions and peppers. I mean, it seems like to me we grew a lot of onions in the garden, so therefore I put onions in everything. I try to include it anywhere and at all times, and some of these are going to squirt out when we start rolling it up, so go a little heavy. All right. Tell you what, I'll go one more long piece of ham in the middle. Now, remember we unrolled it this way, so we're going to roll it back that way. So there's, there's our two-thirds side, and then we're going to roll that over on top of this side. And there's our stuffed deer steak. Now all we need to do is tie it up. I like to start on the ends. Otherwise, it seems like when I'm tying these up, they squirt out. So let's, let's pull this end tight. We'll tie it. If you don't have string, you can use a uh, bamboo skewer to kind of weave in and out or some toothpicks. You just want to hold this meat in place while it cooks because it's going to want to contract and shrink up and unroll. And so you need something to hold it in place until it cooks and sets in place. This is my possum salt, which is just my own brand of seasoned salt. You could use any steak seasoning, any seasoned salt you want. Remember, we haven't really added any seasoning to the meat, but we've put a lot of flavor on the inside. All right, let's stuff the other one and we'll stick them in the oven. Okay, there's steak number two. Let's roll it up just like we did steak number one. Let's tie it up and season. Okay, there's our adobo seasoning. There's our possum salt. Pack the same on the inside. Put some foil over them. Keep them from drying out. Keep the outside from drying out. The inside's going to stay moist. Three fifty for an hour and a half. There they are out of the oven, and this has been an hour and about forty minutes. I'm going to set them aside. We don't want to cut into them right now, but as you can see, the string has gotten loose. You can see there it's easily so the the, the meat is contracted and then it's loosened back up, and so I'm going to set these off the, on a cutting board. So there's our two stuffed deer steaks. Let's put some foil over them, loosely tent them, we'll let them rest while we make sauce out of the gravy. It probably just looks like a big old black blob on the uh, on an all white cutting board. But let's cut this end off. Well, let's start down here on the smaller end. I've cut the strings off already, so let me just take this, this rough end off. And you'll need a fairly sharp knife or it will fall apart as you try to cut it if you have a dull knife. So. You'll notice me uh, really sawing back and forth. That's because it wants to fall apart, see? Okay, there's just a couple of good slices. Pull this over here. We'll lay a piece down. Lay a... Oh, stay together. All right, you want to go that way. So now if we look at it, we can see we've got the deer meat, the ham, the cheese, the peppers and onions are soft. Let's plate up a little bit of that and I'll try it. Let's set a piece like that. Let's lay them down. Here's a little bit of the gravy that I made. Just added a little cornstarch to thicken it up.
put a little bit around the edge. Alright, let me show you how tender it is, and I haven't tried it yet, but I can tell just by cutting it. This meat will come apart with just your fork, a little bit of gravy. That is amazing. No knife, just a fork. That is baked for an hour and 45 minutes. Maybe it would be easier if I pushed my fork underneath it. That's a pretty good bite right there. That is, that's phenomenal. If you were a little concerned about me adding French onion dip to it, it really tastes a whole lot like you uh, maybe added French onion soup mix and a roast. That's really good. I'm gonna sit here and pick on this end piece and just dab it in my leftovers. I mean, the fact that you're just pulling it apart with your fingers. And this is out of a mature buck hindquarter. This is not backstrap. There you have it. The preacher's stuffed deer steak. We unrolled it. We put what we wanted in there. We rolled it back up. We, tr we tied it up. We baked it for an hour and 45 minutes. It keeps the deer meat from just being... A dry chunk of meat if we cooked it long enough to be tender but we supplied some fat and moisture and so fat carries flavor and then take the juice cook it down add some uh, cornstarch make a nice gravy to put over the top try this you'll uh, you can thank me later see you on the next video